So this will mark the beginning of a series of videos that I will be making for Borderlands 3, which is essentially just going to be me showing you how to get certain legendaries for certain bosses and maybe some tips and tricks about how to get how to go through a boss easily and efficiently. So we're going to start off with the first legendary that you can get in the game and apologize if I say something like exotic or burn or something from destiny, but that's just that's just how it is. I'm, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but let's get on with it. First one we're going to talk about is mind killer. That's the first legendary that you can farm. I think if I'm pretty sure. And this is going to be a Malawan shotgun. Honestly, I love this shotgun. It's fine. I think it's really cool, especially since one of the cool things is while ADS, you actually shoot your spread gets a little tighter. So I think that's a really cool thing. I don't think that's the actual perk of the weapon. I don't think that's the unique flavor of it, but it is a cool thing that I've noticed. Honestly, I think the thing that makes it unique is that it shoots a fucking dubstep wave at people. I think that's the, that's the closest thing I came up to. I don't, I have not seen people online saying like, oh yeah, it does this or it does that. So do, I do apologize if like later on in the future, everyone knows what it does, but it's, I'm, it's literally like three days since the game's been out. So we don't know what a lot of these uh, legendaries do. But from what I've seen, the ADS is different. It is way different when you ADS with this gun. The spread is way, way tighter. And the animation of the gun and all this other stuff. So do I think it's worth getting? I think it's for sure worth getting if you're at that level. If you're barely starting, you're like level seven, level eight. After you kill Mouthpiece, immediately go finish up that quest and then come back and just farm him. This shotgun is a good shotgun to have, especially for just starting out. And it does beefy damage, so. And the other cool thing is usually Malawan weapons in this game, for some fucking reason, you have to charge. This one, you don't have to charge, you just shoot it. So I think that's a, an immediate plus for a Malawan weapon. Let's talk about the boss himself. Mouthpiece, when you go into Mouthpiece, He's immediately gonna go into an animation where he explodes some some base some bases or speakers. What you're gonna want to do is there's two ways to do this. If you're over leveled and you just want the gun just to have the gun, then immediately shoot him a couple of times that until he gets to the immune phase. The speakers from the beginning animation will take him out of that and then immediately shoot him again and then wait for the animation and then do it again. It's honestly not that hard. What I ended up doing was when I'm with, uh, when I'm using flak, I immediately bust my fucking invisibility, go down, shoot him in the head like twice, which is more than enough with a sniper or anything really. And then he'll, his immune shield will drop, shoot him again and then rinse and repeat. That's really it. But if you are a lower level and you cannot do that, then what I would do is go up in front of him, not too in front where the speakers can hit you, but just in the middle, shoot him a couple of times with your strongest weapon and then back out, go to a corner or go behind anything. At that point, you're going to have to play the game smart. You're going to have to do a lot of cover usage. You're going to want to keep some of the adds alive that way if you do go down you can get the res back up to kill one of them and honestly you're just gonna honestly play the play cover just go to cover to cover shoot when you can don't get too aggressive don't get too greedy make sure you shoot him shoot him shoot him and then back out when there's too much danger honestly the fight's really not that hard i should not be giving you this much explanation to it it's honestly that that easy so that's pretty much the video. I really like the gun. I will be having more videos. I have a bunch load of fucking videos. I recorded a bunch of videos. Not even kidding, guys. Not even kidding. So this is gonna be the first episode. I'm not even gonna. It's not even gonna be, be episodic. But like, this is the first legendary review that I do. So the next one's probably gonna be like the second one I got and so forth. I'm gonna try to follow the story as much as possible when it comes to like certain bosses. But if it's like a side boss, I'm, I'm not going to do it in order. I, I don't care. So I will see you guys later. Let me know what you guys think about this gun. Is it good? Do you guys like this gun? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me in my social media outlets. Links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys later.